angelic hosts who do walk amongst you. How are they walking amongst you? In physical humanoid form. Within all races, within all genders, within all hues, within all heights, and within all weights. Opposing the plan, say plan. Plan. Opposing the people, say people. people. And opposing the will, say will, will, of the most high. You can't just look at somebody and see if they are or are not the devil. Because they come in all shapes, they come in all sizes, they come in all genders, they come in all races. Verse 2. The meek amongst you must be aware of their many subtle tricks. Fake, tear-jerking, emotional reactions. Deceptive words and underhanded actions. Beware so that you do not fall victim to the many delicacies and temptations which Lucifer and his host will cast as a net or snare into your path, thereby gaining control of the what? Nine. The nine principal components that you are made of. We'll explain that in a second. Verse 3. O oh, you amongst humanity that are the faithful seed of the Amen, who is the guardian angelic host Amun, such as Yahshua the Messer, that is called Tut Ank Amun, you must learn to consciously make all efforts and actions to reject Lucifer and his companions. That's what we do in the Holy Coptic Church. We reject in Lucifer. Because we're going to show you how we lying and how you following a deception and we rejecting it. Amun? Verse 4, thus the voice of the guardian angelic host declares to all humanity, he that is called Lucifer, being from the race of what? Shape-shifting Shape reptilian humanoid beings, does have the ability to alter his appearance, whereby he and those like him are able to manifest on earth in many forms by which they go unnoticed, and are thereby able to trick and deceive all but those that are the faithful ones whose eyes are but one. Now you think I mean someone is a, re a lizard and they can turn into a human. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody who could tell you last year that there's a dragon and then this year transform into the biggest Christian on the planet. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. That's what we mean by shape-shifting. Huh? These people could be your slave masters in one lifetime, and your savior in the next. They could be your, your slave master in the same lifetime, and your savior in the same lifetime. That's what we mean by shape shifters. Huh? They could be the police shooting you down dead in the road, and the doctor who's saving your life. They could be the miseducator, and the teacher. That's what we mean by shape shifting. That's what we mean as according to this book of 2 Corinthians where it says, verse 13, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. So just because you're in church don't mean you're saved. You could very well be deceived because the whole book of Revelation, for the most part, is about Speaking to churches that have been deceived. So don't think because you in church you got it all figured out. That's not what this is about. If you go to a church and they don't let you question. If you go to a church and all they're doing is talking about God, 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 God. You know nothing about the devil. Watch out. Hmm? You better know who the devil is. And you better know what the devil is. Let's go to the battle sheet. The third scroll. The battle sheet is the African book of Genesis. Okay? Because what we are talking about today is the fact that this original Christianity has been hijacked. And the deception is that the hijacked version is the authentic version. But let's understand who this Satan is and what really took place in this garden because y'all believe some snake was brought around a tree. Another deception. In scroll three of the battle sheet, you learn about who this Satan actually is. This deceiver. Alright? 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kalikul Kareem in the name of the Sustainer.